So this feast of the Holy Family. I remember a story told to me when I was in grade school where the teacher, it was one of those old Greek fables, you might have heard it. The sons were fighting, and so the father said to the sons, he gave, gives them each a stick. And he says, break it. The sons break that stick, break it, break it, no problem. Then he says, bring those back to me. He takes those sticks, and now he ties them together. And as he ties them together, he says, now break them. And the sons try to break them, but they can't break them. And the father says, in unity there is strength. Now, I've used this often in wedding homilies, only I extend the analogy. I am strong in a lot of areas, but I am weak in some areas. I'm weak right here. You are weak right here. You are weak right here. But when we are bound together in a family, your strength covers my weakness. My strength covers your weakness. Why did God give us a family? All through the Old Testament into the New Testament, God gave us a family because we are not self-sufficient. We need the human bonds that hold us together. But beyond that, we also need the spiritual bonds. When we marry in the church, when we marry in the sacrament of marriage, it is not just the human bonds that tie us together, but rather that is the whole power of the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit ties us together in a family, he calls my strengths to cover your weakness, your strengths to cover my weakness, but then all of us fall way short, and it is the power of the Holy Spirit that is able to hold us strong. Every year as a priest, I'm with many families when they are undergoing special difficulties. Recently, my own family has had a number of, of very difficult situations. But you know one thing that I mention often to my family? I say, what makes us different? is in our relationships, and all other relationships so often come and go. But as a family, we are there for life. We are together to hold one and support one another for the rest of our lives till death do us part. And then it is the Lord who brings us into the next life. And therefore, how important our families are. And so I pray that as we celebrate this feast day, Lord, help us to take seriously marriage. Marriage in the Lord. Because it is when we are married in the Lord, the Lord is able to give us a strength that will be able to get us through life and nothing can break us. Also, when we are married in the Lord, we discover God's call for us. And that's why we need to walk in that holiness. And as vocation director in looking at vocations to holy marriage, single life, priesthood, religious life, they come from as the fruit of a holy marriage. And therefore, today we emphasize this vocation of marriage and family. Lord, help us not to take it for granted, not to do it our way, not simply to tie ourselves together with human cords, but especially with the divine cord of the Holy Spirit, so that we can truly support one another now and in this journey of faith that will end in heaven.